Hello and welcome to the blog. Jared is still not very well, so it's just me today and I'm <laughs> self-filming today. Um, I think the first thing we're going to do is obviously it's competition day uh, 400 subscriber giveaway, which is going to happen at 11 o'clock, which we're going to do. And I'll try and do that with the random generator. So good luck everybody on that. Thumbs up for you. Um, thank you for your love, for all the messages of love we had yesterday, which I'll go through later on today. But I wanted to just check on the locks to see how we're doing. So let's go and have a look and see how the three pairs are doing. And so let's uh, work our way down. I think the first ones that we were going to look at are the Coco girl. And we put, she's a mocha. And we've got, um, I think it's Titus, who's our Mojave Ultramel. Let's see if they're locking up. Hopefully they are. Yes, I can see a lock. A very nice lock as well. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll try and zoom in for you. And it uh, looks as though they are locked, which is fantastic news. There we go. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. So well done Titus and well done Coco. And this could be the final lock before she ovulates, so this is a very important one. Just zooming in on it now, can you see the locking? So that's lovely, and she's looking very healthy. So that's really good news. Let's just put them back and let them continue with their caution. So we're just going to gently push them back into position. Nice and slowly does it. Lovely. And then the other one I was going to check up on was the Sienna. She's our, she's right down here, so I have to get down quite low. Now Sienna is a black, she was sold as a black pastel. But we actually think she's a, um, she's 100% hip pie, but she's a cinnamon. We think she's cinnamon rather than black pastel. And we've put Elvis, who was a cinnamon pie to her. And this is a repeat pairing of last year. And let's have a little look and see how they're doing. And they are locked, which is lovely. How about that? Beautiful. I'll zoom in on that one for you. So that's two out of two. So well done Elvis, you are proven to be a real star. And well done Sienna, proven mother. So we're hoping that we're gonna be shooting for some nice animals, some cinnamon pieds and some possibility of a black panda pied or white panda pieds. And we will shall let them continue with their mate courtship. And then the other one that we've got here is our spot nose dinker project, Lexi, and we put Joker to her. See whether they've locked. If they've locked, that'll be three out of three, and Jad will be very happy. So let's see what's going on in here. Well, there's Joker, and there's Sexy Lexi, and they're tail to tailing it. And I can smell sperm, so there's a good chance that they may well have locked, but we won't show it as a visual, show it as a possible. So that's really good news. And we'll leave them a bit, bit longer together. Hopefully, they will do the biz. <laughs> so, thought I'd just show you that. And uh, let's have a little look. Pen Penelope's come closer. Let's see if any of these girls are showing any signs of ovulation while we're at it. So there's Penelope. Looking nice and big. It's fine. Check Jade. See how she's looking. Looking nice and healthy and big. Let's check the panda girl, see if she's still ball wrapping. Oh, interesting. That's an interesting sign. She's wrapped her body around herself there and they often do that when the eggs are moving around. So look, that's the only interesting position there. You see that? Very interesting. Uh, yeah, I have seen that behaviour before. When they start to move their eggs further down, they tend to, they do tend to either go on their side if they get uncomfortable, but 
She hasn't stopped eating, so I don't think she's going to drop us soon. I think she'll give us another three or four weeks and go off food. So we'll leave her in peace. Daisy, let's just check on Daisy. See how she's doing. She's looking big. There you go, beautiful girl. Very, very pretty snake. Looking very big indeed. We'll leave her in peace. So a little bit of time to go. We'll check on Pringle. Next one up. See how she's doing. She looks like she may have shed out. I think she has shed. She's looking really clean, I think. She must have shed out and Jad hasn't told me about that one. But she was in shed about a few days ago, but she looks absolutely gorgeous. Really big and healthy as well. So we'll leave her in peace. I haven't done the cleaning yet, I've come straight in here. So you're going to see things before being cleaned here. Let's just see how Ray Ray's going. Check Ray. There's Ray. She's shed out. Oh, look at that for a beautiful clean shed. That's lovely. And isn't she lovely? So she's the pumpkin pied mother. An absolutely stunning animal. How beautiful she is. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely, lovely animal. And uh, hopefully she'll go for us this year. So beautiful. Just look how gorgeous she is. And she sheds out. She retains those beautiful pumpkin colours as well. She has faded a bit compared to the babies, but I think she's a stunner. And a lovely clean shed as well. That's all good news. Let's move on to the Jupiter, our clown girl. Well, at least our butter 100% het, het clown. Let's see what she's up to. There she is. She's nesting up a little bit. She's in a ball. She's created quite a little nest for herself there. But she's still eating, so I think she's not going to go yet, but she's building. And the follicles look like they're expanding. And she seems very much at peace and happy. She's cooling off on the cooler end of the rub. That's wonderful. Let's see how Amber's doing, our clown pastel clown girl. Here she is. How are you looking, my darling? She's looking chunky as well. Beautiful. That's the biggest I've ever seen her. She didn't go for us last year, but I'm hoping she's just gonna go for us this year. Buttercup, who's the pastel yellow belly pie, went for us last year. Let's see how she's doing. A lot of condensation in there, so let's see what she's up to. Yeah, she's seeking out the warm end. She looks big as well. She's eating quite well. She's hooking well, so hopefully she'll go for us. Create some double heads with the clown boy joker. We checked on Mocky Girl, she's locked. There's Athena. Let's see what Athena's up to. There she is. She was looking beautiful as well, nice and chunky. So she's got to do a few more locks before she ovulates, so I'm not expecting anything from her for a while. Venus. Well, there's Venus. She's a proven mother last year. She gave us those three gorgeous um, pewters and het clown pewters. And she's a lovely animal. I just love her patterns. So she's a pastel twilight, which is pastel cinnamon and She's an absolutely gorgeous animal, spot nose as well. And we're going for the super power spot nose power balls. Put spot nose to spot nose to see what happens. She's looking really healthy, happy. Flame, let's move on to our fire girl flame. See how she's progressing. She's looking huge. Just look at the size of that. Massive, massive girl. She must be getting close to 3000 kilograms. She looks happy. She's starting to go into shed, I think. And she's still eating aggressively, so it's going to be another few weeks before we see her ovulating. 
putting on some good weight there. And then we've got Calypso, which is Jared's clown girl. There she is. She's getting quite big now. I think she's about 1200 grams. So, a nice grow on. Lovely colours. Pastel clown, Calypso, Jared's favourite. So look at Terry. Now Terry is our Orange Dream Het Russo 100%, 50% Het Pied. See how she's looking. She's looking lovely. Again, she's about 1200 to 1300, so she's going to be ready for next season. Beautiful example of a Het Russo and Orange Dream com combination. And let's hope she proves out to be pied as well. And then we've got Korma, which is Emily's banana girl, pastel. How's she looking? Pretty chunky too, so she's stepping up to a nice level now. She must be, I'm guessing she's about 1300 grams. So again, we've got some lovely future projects here. Pastel clown, gorgeous, uh, pastel banana, gorgeous animal. That's all looking good. Uh, we didn't see cappuccino, did we? Let's have a look at cappuccino. Look at the size of her. Ooh, every time I pick her up, I think, my goodness me, she's a big girl. Can't wait for her to ovulate and give her some eggs. Hopefully some bells, because we put the bell boy to her. Okay. Um, just saying what else we've got here. We've got the Money Penny, which is our pastel 100% double Het Orange Ghost Pied. Let's see how she's doing. She's shed out, which is lovely, and um, she's pooed. Almost a perfect shed, not quite. So we have to watch the humidity in here. But the rest of her skin is perfectly shed out. There's no um, skin left on her body, so she's done the business. But I would like to lift the humidity levels a little bit more to get the perfect shed for her. That's a good gauge, and let's see how this one's doing. Still in shed. This is Cami. She's 100% head clown. Now, she's in deep shed, so we need to give her some humidity to help her shed. She's about 1200 as well. Um, this one's Rango, Jared's male banana boy. She's not breeding with him, but he's eating well, looking healthy. He likes to come out and play. Perlo is the boy, um, I think he's a Mojave Lesser Bell. How's he looking in there? He's been a little stud. So look, there he is. Beautiful animal. And then Kylo you've met. Opening Lord of the Rings animal. Gorgeous. Aladdin's going to be the 500 giveaway freebie. He's in shed, so we'll let him shed out. Joker's breeding. Elvis is breeding. Leonardo. Let's have a look at Leonardo. He's our Pastavi. Not using his hide I've given him. He prefers to be bong wrapping and cooling. Then we'll leave him in peace. Apollo, who's in shed. Our banana pastel orange dream. Super pastel. He's in shed. Not using his hide. Interesting. So I wonder if it's because it's cooler this end. But he has the option. And then we saw Electra yesterday. This is our male phantom pastel s snape. Show you him. There he is, he's just chilling. This is our male lesser spot nose Bambi. Again, he's using, not using his hide, he's just using the end of his rub. So it's interesting to see who wants to use a hide and who doesn't. Cookie is our male pied, 100% het albino, 50% het toffee. He loves his hide, look at that. And he's given us a poo. And so we'll have to give him a good clean out. But yeah, he, he does, he always loved his hide when I was in the house with him. So Johan is our desert ghost Enchi male, who's been a wonderful male breeder for us, again not using his hide. It's interesting how a lot of them aren't using their hides. Stormy, let's have a look at Stormy. 
she is using her hide so she likes it in there so she is our purple passion which is phantom and mojave mixed together Zena, she's our clown 100% hair albino she's using her hide so she likes it in there so I think the hides are proven to be quite helpful this is Hazel she's using her hide do some water she's our orange dream yellow belly 50% hep hide and then let's have a look and see what else we've got going on here so we're getting quite a good update on these snakes a lot of snakes today La La which is our super pastel 100% hep hide and it looks as though she has done a poo she's using her hide yeah she likes her hide so I think the hides are proven to be quite quite helpful I would say that over 50% are using them which is good this one is bowl wrapping so she's he's Angelo 100% hep pie, 50% hep clown and he's fire pastel yellow belly so a firefly yellow belly quite a powerful animal he's not choosing to use his hide fair enough so this is Jared's Joe, which is 66% um, hep hide and 50% hair albino. And she is using just her paper hide. So she's not using her plastic hide, but she's using her paper hide. And there she is. She's put on good weight. She's about 1200. And we've got Topaz as our super lesser male. He loves his hide. He always did love his hide. So it's interesting how some snakes prefer to be hidden away and others are happy to be out. So yeah, everyone to their own, but gives them that choice. Now this is our 66% hep pie, 50% hep albino Poe male. He's using his hide and loving it. I won't disturb him. Giovanni, who's our super pastel banana G-stripe. See what he's up to, he loves his hide, there he is. <laughs> He's in there, enjoying the space he's got in there. So that'll help him. Mango, who's our pastel lesser clown girl. She's so confident I didn't give her a hide. She's eating really well, so that's fine. That's quite an inspection today. And then Mo is using the hide. That's one of Jazz babies. Again, 66% hep pie, 50% hep albino. And feeling quite comfortable in there. And Jaffa is Jared's male, 100% double het albino, the father of the girls I've just shown you. And I believe is enjoying being on top of the hide at the back. So that's the other advantage of the hide is they can go up if they want to. And some animals like that. Particularly if they spill their water bottles, having the hide gives them a chance to come out of the wet and be on top. So here we've got our Desert Ghost Rambo. See how he's looking. Looks happy in there. Won't disturb him. He's enjoying the hide. His wife, who's the same Desert Ghost Enchi 100% Hek Caramel, Isa, she's using the hide too. So they both like it. So I think the hides are going to give them that extra degree of confidence. Nagini, another daughter of Jaffa, one of Jad's original babies. She loves the hide, so she's enjoying that. Phoebe, which is our Het Russo Fire, 50% Het Pied Phoebe. She's enjoying her hide as well, and she's on a put at the back, so I'll have to clean that out. Cool, stinky, mopey, who is in shed. He is enjoying his hide too. Now I've moved him down from his original position because he wasn't getting warm enough at the top. For some reason that wasn't as warm. And this is much better temperature for him so hopefully he'll be happy there. Got some spaces down here for some extra ones to come. Right, on the last part of our collection now we've got Elsa. She is 100% hep hide and she is using her hide partially so she seems happy in there and we've got the Mojave Mulan 100% Hep Pie which is Ed's snake as soon as she's ready 
to go. So she is using the back of the hive, not using the hive, but she likes the warmth, warmth of the back and she doesn't want to be covered up. So she uses the hide as a feel like a protection for her. And this one we have another 100% hep hide aerial. She is enjoying the hide. Look, she's under there. And she's moved off the hot spot to the middle of the rub. So that shows you that they use the, the heat gradient to their preferences. So she's got the hide plus she's got the perfect heat gradient. And then Tinker doing the same. So Tinker again, she's 100% hep hide. These are all pies that we bought for these beautiful projects down below. And now Queenie, who's a big pastel girl that we got, Clown, that came in cold. I wonder how she's doing. Now she is chilling. We'll leave her in peace. Let's see the dreamsicles. So we've got Peach, the girl. Let's see how she's doing. Bowl wrapping. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So she must be building follicles. And she's now getting on towards 900 grams. So that's a really good healthy weight for a first season, first year. And then we've got her husband below, which is Bowser. Let's see how he's doing. Yep, chilling, and he's almost a thousand as well, and he seems to be happy. So all good on the sub-adults and on the adults. Now we'll just have a quick look at our hatchlings and grands, and we'll check the other animals over here as well. So we've got some more. Oh, I didn't check on Celeste. So let's just check on the Phantom Pastel Yellow Belly Celeste. See how she's doing. She's getting really big. Beautiful. And then we've got Cleo, which is our big spider banana girl. She's bowl wrapping. Look how big she is. Really big. It's a good example of bowl wrapping. The lower part where the eggs need to cool off. And then she's chilled. So she'll probably ovulate for us soon. She is still eating, so we're going to give it at least four weeks before we expect an ovulation. And we've checked Lexi, so she's all doing good. So on this side, we'll check on Coop with a hook because Jag got bitten here. Where's the hook? Let me get the hook. I'm not going to play any risks here. <laughs> I'm going to use the hook because I don't want to get bitten by a, an adult. So she's a female stinger bee, which I believe is an Enchi spider stinger bee. And there she is, look, look. Pooed. There she is. She is a gorgeous animal. Just got to be really careful that she doesn't strike out there. So she'll need careful cleaning. This is Toast, the mother of the eggs, egg clutch. We need to check on those as well. And there you have the mother who's had her first meal and she's sitting comfortably and happy now. She's, bless her, she's been such a star for us this year to open up our clutch. And then underneath her, we've got another animal similar, which is a, she was in shed. She shed out yet? No, look how big she is though. That could even be a prelay shed because she looks so big. It wouldn't surprise me if she's carrying eggs. So we'll let her shed in peace. And that is a beautiful phoenix girl and she is 100% hep pied. So now she's just straight 100% hep pied, that's what she's been sold to. So we've put the cinnamon pie to her in the hope that she'll produce some cinnamon pies for us. So let's go on to our hatchlings and babies now. So you're getting quite a good view of our snakes today. See how they're doing. Again, they haven't been cleaned yet. And that is our female Mojave Ultramel Starburst. She's doing fine. And then we've got the Mojave female 100% Ultramel Cosmos. So let's see how she's doing. She's doing fine. It's getting quite big. Then we've got the Mojave Hypers and Help Jamal Silky. See how she's doing. She seems fine. 
and then we got the Bamboo Girl 100% Hit Ultramel. These are all part of the same clutch. She's getting nice and big and healthy. And her sister, Zig, same genes. Looks like she's going into shed there. We're gonna have to treat her carefully with a little bit of spray. Now here we've got the Mojave Ultramel Nova female. See how she's doing. Mm, lovely, absolutely fine, looking good. Nice and healthy, nice growing up nicely. And then her husband, which is uh, the Mojave Ultramel male, which we've sold. I'm just waiting for the last payments to come in and when it's safe to ship, we'll be shipping that. Um, then we've got the Fire Mail 100% Hit Clown. See what's up to here, see what he's up to. There he is, he's in a ball. Then we've got the Bamboo Mojave, which is um, a Bell, Casper, 100% Hit Ultramel. He's very, let's have a look at him. He's getting up quite big now, beautiful animal. So a lot of these snakes need a good clean out. I haven't cleaned them yet. Caramac, which is our ultra male female, which I think is gorgeous. I love just seeing the ultra male in its own plain state. Beautiful animal. Lovely. And they look happy. And here we have Yahoo, which is our male albino 100% head clown. He was in shed yesterday. Has he shed out for us? No, but he's pooed. So he'll need cleaning. Lovely animal though. Ooh wee doggy. Right, let's see what we've got here. This is a 100% Het Clown male. Seems happy. And then we've got a 100% female Fran. She's getting quite big, needs a good clean out. Fern, fem another female. How's she looking? Looking good. I love the fire. 100% head clown. So when she's big enough, she'll produce some fire clowns for us. As well, this one. Well, that one's going to produce. That's 100% head clowns. That's fine. And then below, we've got the, uh, the bongo. Let's see how the bongo's doing. 66% head clown. There you go. Beautiful example of the bongo. Looks lovely. I'll we'll leave you in peace. This is the spot nose. That was the bongo 100% head clown. This is the spot nose 100% head clown, which we're going to hopefully use for our Batman project when she's big enough. See how? Oh yeah, she's looking quite chunky. She likes her paper hide. I won't disturb her. Vanilla 100% head clown, which I love. Vanilla. She's looking really good. Can't wait to get her into our projects. And then the last one here is the Spot Nose Vanilla 100% Heck Clown. Let's see what she's looking like. So we want some Vanilla Batmans. And that is one beautiful snake. Very big as well. So we'll leave her in peace. So that's this side. Let's go to the other side. And show you how the other baby's doing. So we've got Atlas, featured earlier. How's she looking? She's pooed. So there's a lot of cleaning work. You're seeing the state of the animals before I've cleaned here. So you're getting a feel of labor for what I have to do with Jad's help every day when we clean. So here we have this beautiful girl. Again, sister to Atlas. That'll be a yellow belly cinnamon pied Mayu. We've got Wizzy, who's our pumpkin pied male. Looking good, nice and big and healthy. Iggy, our female sister to Wizzy. She looks lovely. Need to top up her water. And we've got Samo, which is the fire pastel, firefly double het pied orange ghost male, which I'm looking forward to plugging in at some point. Isn't he lovely? Beautiful animal. And then we've got Iffy, our cinnamon yellow belly pied. Growing up nicely, could do with a little bit of a clean. 